Hi everyone, LazyFire here, and welcome back to Red Faction 2. If you remember last time, we blew up the Citadel's ammo dump, and that over there. Uh, barely escaped the explosion by being cool guys and jumping away from it. And now we're in a nondescript alley, and we have to... Alias, I'm not getting any younger here. Shut up. And we have to figure out how to get out of here to get onto the next area, which uh, we don't know where that is because there's no such thing as a HUD marker in this game. Uh... Now, this is the area that frustrated me the most when I replayed it. Not because it's difficult, but rather because you have no idea how to get out of here. What? The hell was that? Uh, <laughs> I was trying to show something else off, but that works out just fine. You see, you have to blow through this wall. I was stepping on a piece of fire there. You have to blow through this wall to get to the next area. But there's no indication you have to do that. Repta never says anything. And the wall only explodes on that part. This battle armor inside that bay. Let's give the Shitadel a taste of its own crap. Stop there! And I was hitting this guy, I guess. Alright. That was weird. So this is the battle armor. Battle armor is gonna be pretty fun to play with. I'm already bad ass. And, uh, Repta, of course, has his own opinions on how good he is at this stuff. So, the battle armor is similar to the vehicles from the last game. Another stuck door. As Tanjiro would say, I know how to handle these things. So, Repta opens the door for us, but he can't make us not stupid. Now, the battle armor has two machine guns, one mounted to either arm. You can fire those with the mouse buttons. It also has incendiary grenades, which are fired with F. Those are pretty fun to use as well. Now, the issue comes in with, how the hell do I get out of here? You see these pylons? You can't simply walk into them. Part of the plan. Where are you? Dead on. Can't walk into them, can't go around them, the incendiaries that we've been told about don't work right now, but we have a third weapon that the game doesn't tell you about, and just really quickly, I will go into my options here and show you my controls. And if you look at my controls here, uh, you're going to notice that there is no mention of any, and I mean any, of the stuff in the game that involves vehicles. There's no mention of the vehicle controls at all. So they have to give them all to you. So with what I know of these vehicles, I can't get past these things. However, if I start hitting every button on my fucking keyboard... Oh, looks like I have rockets. They're mapped to space. Game doesn't tell you that, no matter how long you stand there, no matter how many questions you ask at it very loudly and wonder if it hates you, which it probably does, by the way, so just keep that in mind, uh, it will not let you know that, hey, you're supposed to do this. Really annoying. I don't understand how that passed QA at all, unless there was a developer on the shoulder of the QA guy the entire time going, We're alive. Lots of them aren't. Anyways, if there's a QA guy, like, the entire time, with uh, a developer telling him how to play the game. Maybe that's the only way that passed through QA, I don't know. But there should have been some sort of tip to do that, because the incendiary grenades are near useless. Targets acquired. I'm rolling out the red cup. Lunatic! With all this firepower, you'd think this would be an area where you got to see a lot of Geomod. You don't. Now the other thing to notice about these uh, battle armors and such is that, well, for the most part, you can't leave them. That is to say, unless the game has decided it is time for you to leave something, you cannot exit any controllable vehicle. Let's get our full health back up. Looks like a ladder to me. Oh. Bringing out the big boys. Let's waste them. Another battle armor. That took no time at all. Set a man on fire, feeling good. 
And you can see our way backwards is blocked by that weird concrete block of some nature. I can't tell what it is. But these vehicle sections are kind of the highlight of these areas sometimes. Uh, they're different enough that they're kind of fun and, you know, you feel pretty cool being able to just stomp around in one of these battle armors. It reminds me a lot of the sec- uh, oops, well that fucking sucked. It reminds me of the segment in Fear 2 where you got to ride in a battle armor. And if you've never played Fear 2 but you've played Fear 1, that sounds kind of ridiculous, but it happens. It's actually kind of fun. Although it is one of the more difficult sections of that game as well. Let's see. Now you may have noticed just there, there's a bit of a graphical glitch every now and again. And that is... Ah, shut up. Yeah, that's what you have to do here. So if you haven't figured out how to use explosives yet, you'll learn there. Anyways, that's the one geomodable part of this level! Hooray! Hey, that's a civilian. Let's not waste him like I was about to. Over here! I'm with the Red Faction! I'll lead you to Sopot! Cool! Please. Oh. oh. Now, if you actually kill that guy, <laughs> if you decide that that man should die... Sign up for this. Where is that guy? Is he on that? Oh. The, if you kill that guy, you actually lose points. You get a red star because he's playing a civilian. And once again, the door that you have to go through, geomodable. Everything around it, not geomodable. I don't understand how that passed anything. Also, you can't blow up that car no matter how much you try. But you can get out. Anyways, uh, the graphical glitch you'll occasionally see is like a quarter second of something. Uh, that's because my graphics card apparently has this major issue with it. Uh, pretty much every version of it I've seen says that there's some sort of issue with the 2D modeler on it. And that causes occasional graphical glitches. I've actually fixed it up pretty good. It used to be pretty common, but now it's okay. So if you see that, I do apologize. Not really anything I can do about it besides get a new graphics card. And this one's already brand new. So, we're kind of kited or made to go one direction here. And I just took a grenade to the face. That worked out for me. To the left. Communication I really foul up their radio. I like how we couldn't just take that battle armor through here. Like, the chain link fence is way more powerful than the battle armor rockets are. Hell, the battle armor could probably walk through it. But, video game logic being what it is. Ah, I usually have armed receptionists at my office as well, so it's good to see that they keep that going in the future. And right there, I was trying to quick swap weapons like I would in Battlefield if I got into a firefight when I was reloading, uh, and I forgot this was not Battlefield. You'll notice I have a new grenade on. It's the Ison, or it's not the Ison grenade, rather, it's the shock grenade. You won't see me using it very much, though. Oh, I hate that. Show them no mercy. Because I am terrible with grenades in this game. It has one of the weirdest arcs. And, uh, yeah. Not super useful, actually, here. So it, it's like a flashbang, but it really is not very useful when you have things that set people on fire, things that explode people, um, and make them run around like crazy people. I would much rather have the thing that just straight up kills people rather than the thing that shocks people. And it's not like it gets more useful with different enemies later in the game or anything. It's pretty much useless all throughout. That's my opinion, however. Maybe some other people have other ideas. <laughs> ah, here we are. Broadcast tower. Let's get out of here. That's different. I thought there was going to be an actual explosion. Shows what I know. Let's call the elevator. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. You can die to the elevator. I've been killed by elevators in this game. And now I'm at a loss for words because I was almost 100% sure that this is the only way to go. And I've beaten this game, as I've mentioned even just recently, so there shouldn't be this much confusion on my part. And it just disappeared. Uh, 
Alright, maybe I missed something on this side of things. You can't go down into these, by the way. They're kind of blocked off. Let me show you. Yep, invincible. But there is this door. I think... Like, okay, well, that looks like every door I've ever gone down. Ah, of course. Nondescript alley. I should have known. Oh, shit. This guy is just whipping grenades. I don't know if you saw it on, on the uh, video, or we'll see it when I encode this, but that man just threw, like, five grenades in a very short time frame. Uh, let's pick up some stuff. Always good to have extras. You can see I'm down to 25 total grenades. It's not a bad scenario, but not great. And it looks like jackers are pretty common in Sopot City. We're getting close, sir. Lots of resistance. I don't know if I actually killed that or he did. This kind of mindless loyalty. That's scripted to go down, so I guess me firing on it wasn't really a big deal. All right. Jesus, I really wish they'd done something about these doors, because I can never figure out which ones are good, which ones are bad. You know, when I was playing Mass Effect in the other day, and the thing they did there is that doors you can open have the little things next to them that you can see, hey, these are doors that are openable or not. Even if they're just going to slide open, they'll just open up for you. So, why don't... why didn't other games do that? Elias Repta, stop him! He'll try to cover his escape by firing the missile while it's still inside the silo. That coward won't care if the blast kills his soldiers, too. Alright, so pot's in our sights. Uh -huh. This is way too And you're exploded. Right, we're not going to worry too much about ammo conservation. We're really near the end here. And door. The silo entrance. Let's go! Yay, demolitions. Well, that's never a good sign. Damn you! Let me in! Hey, is this about the burnt nachos? I told you, that's the way they're supposed to look! Don't leave me out here! Alright, <laughs> I guess we won't shoot that guy. Jesus, I thought that was an elevator. Alright, we're picking up stuff for the final battle with Sopot here. Sopot, I'll watch our backs. And Repta's a pussy. This... Aha, I didn't kill that guy, take that. This is actually a pretty easy segment as far as these things go if you're at all competent, and I'm only semi-competent, so we'll see how it goes. And all you have to do is just come through here, kill a few guys, and get to Sopot. He doesn't pose much of a threat, he's more of a speaker, not a fighter. Sopot. Hey look, these guys who we haven't seen since level one. Alias, the elevator Sopot took is the only way down to the lower level. You'll have to wait for it, then haul ass to beat him to fire control. Now, you'd think that they would put people in here to fight while you wait for that elevator. No such luck. These guys are really trivial now that we have a decent weapon like this and grenades. So, just launch grenades at them. Game wants you to use a shotgun. Has abandoned we fight alone against an insidious enemy, an enemy who would destroy the Commonwealth! This is the speech he gives in the start of the game. From within, but we are strong enough to fight the Red Faction. We are strong enough to prevail. So, Sopot makes reference to the world. We have not seen the broader world in the Red Faction universe. We've seen the EDF and Mars. That's it. Respect, Sopot! Fear, Sopot! Sopot is your master! Ah! 
For the honor of the Commonwealth, get your ass into the silo. For the honor of the Commonwealth. Dare you threaten your Chancellor? Well, usually he says other things. I can destroy you. Respect your creator. Lay down your weapon. That sounds realistic. Um, we're basically going to win the game here. So, it was a terrible game, but at least it was short. Enough of this. I command you to surrender. Congratulations, Alias! You saved the Commonwealth! The Red Faction will proclaim you a national hero. Echo, no time for your politicking. Alias, get yourself out of there! Squad, regroup as planned at Red Faction HQ. Alright, let's go celebrate with the Red Faction. Oops. Alias, my heroic demolitions expert. You are just in time for my announcement to the squad. Soapbot's armies have declared their loyalty to me. I am now Chancellor of the Republic of the Commonwealth. I don't understand. I, I thought we supported- The Red Faction, yes, I know. I think we all agree that Echo here is an ass. Where we differ is that you and Tangier support the Red Faction. They would destroy the technology that created us. I will use the nanotechnologies it should be used. I will create an army that cannot be defeated. We trusted them. Hailed them as heroes. But they got the drop on us. Open fire! Ah, uh, yeah. I witnessed it all. Hero hid behind his desk. Seems he didn't have a weapon. It was symbolic. Our new government would have ushered in an era of peace. Peace? Then what use would we be? We were created to fight. When Tangier arrives, you three will be declared enemies of the state and publicly executed. I don't think so. All of you, put down your weapons. I'd kill them all, but Molov's army would be on top of us. There's a passageway behind the banner. Get out of here! Molov has unleashed the processed and the military on the Red Faction. Our faction fighters are pinned down nearby. Help them. We're counting on you. Echo out. Where did Echo go? Ah, fuck it. I don't know anymore. Anyways, we're on the second half of this game. Hey, look, Ultor. Anyways, we're on the second half of the game now. A uh, short game, I know. But we're going to cover the first part of that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.